Welcome to Primo RV Center and a discussion about used RVs, whether that be at your local dealership, at our dealership, or on the private market. So this is a newly arrived 2022 a unit that we originally sold to the client. Uh, the client has moved on and moved up, uh, but we are now offering it for sale. It has been fully reconditioned. So in the last two years, it's actually received two preparations from us. Uh, so something that has been through, again, multiple technicians' hands. So a unit that we are very confident that you're going to have, again, a great time enjoying and is going to be problem-free, you know, for quite a long time when you do that basic maintenance. So we start off, initially when units like this come in, we want to make sure they are water-free. We will not resell a unit as is to a client, and we will not resell a unit that we discover water in. This is ultra important if you are talking to another dealer in your particular area, uh, looking at a private unit, most times, most dealers will not go looking for water damage, especially in our area. Unfortunately, it is a bad problem on dealers' lots. They want to make sure uh, that they have that deniability. We didn't know. Well, you don't know because you didn't do a thorough inspection. So unfortunately, 80% of what we often see will have some form of water damage and we will not resell it. So when you look on our units on our on our site, you'll often see a lot less used units there than you might at other dealers. And the reason for that is they simply didn't pass our test. So it is ultra important that there be some system. Uh, in this case, we are a member of the Recreational Vehicle Dealers Association of Canada. There is a sister uh, dealer group in the States and they have a pre-owned certification process and it is thorough and we go well beyond this, but there is a huge list of items to go through. So we're going to talk about some of those right now. So up front, uh, we see the two propane tanks there. That's going to be one of those big, big, big safety items. So if you are buying a unit from a dealer that is used, uh, that unit should be able to pass and must pass a certification uh, that those propane systems on board um, are in good working order and then you're not having you know, gas leaks or unburnt fuel coming back into that coach because obviously it's a huge health concern. Uh, certainly could cause death you know, if it was operating improperly over the long term. So that is something that must be recertified. Uh, typically you're gonna find a tag somewhere on that unit when it's uh, sold to you. So typically in the fridge area, often if it's a propane fridge or some other area, they're gonna have a tag with the technician's license number showing what date it was done. And it is something too as an owner that it is very handy to do you know, every once in a while, every couple of years. So again, exterior wise, the biggest thing to me, biggest concern is, is certainly the exterior, not the bits and pieces on the inside, how that was cared for, whether it's a private unit or what it looks like when they put it out on a dealer's lot on the inside will tell you an awful lot about the care that they took preparing this unit. If things are falling off the wall inside, you know that the same level of care was taken to the whole coach. So that is a red flag is what we would say. So we want to look at certainly sealants around windows, around doors. You want to look inside front compartments, looking for areas that might be spongy, looking for door seals that look like they're still intact. You know, if they're getting pretty natty, if they look like they're fully compressed, uh, even given time when the doors open a bit, probably time to change those out because those will be an area where you may get water in. Looking around door seals. Again, this is an area where we've gone over, touched up any of those sealants. Over time, you can imagine as you roll down the road, that whole chassis is gonna be flexing. There are gonna be little spots of caulking that open up. You're looking at the top third of the window. So you're not so concerned about all the way around the window, but that top third is where that water is gonna to wanna to come in. Again, an area of concern. You're gonna to wanna to look around those bolts along the awning, along the top of the awning track. Again, looking for any of those gaps and sealants. We're gonna talk a little bit more about the roof in a minute. When I'm coming around here to our tires, brakes, bearings. RV tires have a date on them. After five years, that manufacturer really considers that those be changed. People who start having massive issues with blowouts are often on tires, more often than not, that are more than five years old. So any unit here that comes in and those tires are past that five year point, there's new tires going on. So not only that, you're gonna have brakes and bearings serviced. We're also gonna be looking at all those bits and pieces in between. Are they rusted out? Are the bushings needing a replacement? We are set up to be able to do Quebec safeties in one of our neighboring provinces. So any unit that comes from Ontario that goes to Quebec is going to require a safety uh, as per Quebec. 
So typically when we recondition these units, they're about 98% ready for Quebec safety. So we can help you there. And then depending on the length, there often is a little bit more work there to do. So that is something that we can help you with. So very, very important. You know the dates on the tires. There will be a date code on there. Again, by year, again, if it's, you know, that 21 model year, 2020, you may be there because they maybe have built uh, the unit with tires that might have been six years old, uh, six months old. So something to look at for sure. Awning when it's out, you know, typically they, they may have some stains, those kinds of things over time. That's acceptable if there's big gaping holes in the fabric. Again, something that you may be changing quickly that isn't inexpensive. So you don't want that to be a surprise uh, when it comes to the day you come to pick up your trailer and then lo and behold at that point they may put it out if you're lucky or you get it home and realize you know it's Swiss cheese it needs to be replaced and you're into a lot of money to replace that fabric certainly you want to make sure that awning mechanism again goes out smoothly another huge cost should it be something that you're paying for out of pocket so these are the kind of things that on an orientation which is something that any unit we sell uh, as a used unit you're going to have probably an hour and a half to two hour orientation depending how new you are to RVing and we're going to go through how they work. We're going to show you that everything works. So it's not a mystery. And should there be little upgrades that you wish to make, things like slide toppers on this unit, which uh, are a very popular option, we can still do those for you day of. Or certainly if you leave it with us, we'll be happy to add those items. Um, something else, into plumbing. So you want to make sure that the unit was winterized. Say you're buying a unit in the springtime. Was that unit properly winterized or is this a unit where the dealer forgot to winterize the trailer properly and the first time you hook that up to water, you know, you've got multiple issues with leaking P-traps, uh, you know, potentially a water heater crack if it's a propane electric water heater. So these are things again, in the certification process, this is all going to be hooked up to water. Tanks are going to be filled so we know if tanks are leaking. We're going to know if uh, gate valves are leaking. So again, until you put water in a unit, you simply don't know. So again, these are areas that we are going to cover. They are part of our certification process and they are something that you want to watch out for on the open market, but certainly from dealers who seem a little resistant or don't have any knowledge about perhaps the unit. Again, you may encounter dealers that have a lot of used products. Understandable, they don't know the history of every unit if you're talking to a salesperson. I can tell you there will be a track record with a work order. If it has been inspected, an RV mechanic has punched on to this. They will know what condition it's in. So if they have no service records of that unit, it's because they simply haven't done the work. So it's again, one of those things you wanna question and say, do I wanna buy this unit? If they're not even willing to inspect it initially to make sure it's in good shape. To me, the most important thing is to make sure the unit was inspected when it comes to the roof is the roof membrane in good condition as we go a little farther back you know it's going to get closer to potentially its end of life they should be you know annually ideally reconditioned depending on the membrane type uh, at least if the owner got to it every two years you know it still should be in very good shape and then you're going to check the lap sealant on all your corners again especially the corners front and back those are going to be your target areas where you're most likely to see an issue but again around all the little vent areas here you're going to see some of that lap sealant and the very corners we're going to again look for gaps there depending on the style of sidewall it is some wrap it over the top again there's going to be sealant there so you're going to want to inspect that you're going to want to inspect those rubber seals around that slide out if they're all tattered there's a pretty good odds especially in the very top that you're going to get water seeping in from the top pretty quickly so there's a couple ways to remedy that you can certainly replace that seal as well as add a slide topper even if you just added the slide topper most likely that's not going to be an issue but again you, these are things you want to know they're visual things that you with the knowledge now can look at and go that doesn't look right to me and i can't stress this enough if it doesn't look right to you it most likely is not right it is time to ask some questions and ask for evidence or simply hey this is something that i want to address if i'm purchasing this unit please put this in writing that is ultra important again then you have a leg to stand on if it's not in writing if it's not on some kind of a work order where a technician has punched onto you're simply not going to know when it comes to the interior again looking underneath those areas that have plumbing to make sure that you haven't had plumbing leaks certainly a good idea looking for areas under windows where if you start to see some some sort of pitting almost looks like little pimples underneath the sidewalls. That's an indication that probably that window has leaked at the very top of it. Again, it's starting to get into the walls. Uh, so again, areas of concern. We talked about propane systems. Again, 
these should all be tested. They need to be certified by somebody with an actual gas license or there's potentially going to be an issue that could be harmful to you and your family. So that needs to be documented. You know, you're going to want to say, hey, listen, I just when I come from my orientation, hopefully there is one. I want to see the evidence of that tag or send me a picture of it. You know, once the technician has filled it all in with his information, hey, send me a picture. You know, just again, peace of mind to know that you have bought something that has been fully certified, has been fully maintained. Again, I can't stress this enough. Do not buy units that are as is. You know you're buying some form of problem. And unfortunately, sometimes it's going to be something that, you know, maybe a stove doesn't work or perhaps it needs an appliance. It's probably far beyond that. It's a unit that's been neglected. Again, if you see doors hanging off the wall, uh, trim is off, and they've put it on a dealer's lot, that should tell you all you need to know and you want to walk away. Because if they haven't been willing to take care of the unit and present it to you in a way that would logically make sense if it's for sale, then what are they doing underneath that coach? What are they doing in the propane system? The odds are little to nothing. So we'd invite you out to Bree Morby Center. We would carry, again, good use products. When we put those units up, you know that they have been passed our test initially, but they're gonna get the service they deserve and you're gonna get the information you need so that especially if you're a new buyer, a new RVer, you're gonna understand how to use it but also how to maintain it. And if you don't get that orientation with that how to maintain information, you are gonna have problems short-term and long-term. So it's important that you get that information. So let me reach out to us if you have any questions unused, uh, if there's something that we can help answer, perhaps on a unit you're looking at, concerns, we're always here.